Okay, once again, good morning everyone. Um, I hope you were able to secure a copy of your Zetas table and at the same time um, you have with you now your calculator because we will be um, computing the area under the normal distribution. So as a sort of review, let's go back with the properties of normal distribution. So as we all know, normal distribution is a continuous symmetric bell-shaped distribution of a variable. A normal distribution curve is bell-shaped, meaning to say as the number of sample size is increasing, the area, not the area, but the, the shape of your distribution um, becomes normal or approximately normal. The mean, the median, and the mode are equal and are located at the center of the distribution. A normal distribution curve is unimodal, meaning to say it has only one mode. Uh, by modal pertains to a distribution that has two mode, but it's not a normal distribution if it has two mode. Next, the curve is symmetric about the mean, which is equivalent to saying that its shape is the same on both sides of a vertical line passing through the center. When you say symmetric, when you are going to cut yourself into two, whatever things that you found on the right side are also things that you can see on the left side. So same thing with the uh, curve, um, the area of the distribution, 50% will be at the right of the distribution, while 50% is located at the left of the distribution. The curve is continuous, that is, there, is no there are no gaps or holes for each value of x. There is a corresponding value of y. And then for number six, and daming ngayon na po pasok. Sabi ko mag-inang maaga. Kasi I have to stop my, my discussion para ma-accept kayo. Okay, number six. The curve never touches the x-axis. Um, theoretically, um, the, the term applied there, we have uh, the term that we use in general mathematics that is asymptotic, meaning no matter how far in either direction the curve extends, it will never meet the x-axis, but it gets increasingly closer and closer. So we've mentioned about empirical rule. It's called the 68 the 95 and the 99.7 rule. So when you say 68%, um, percent, approximately 68.3%, those are scores, one standard deviation above the mean and one standard deviation below the mean. So this is the mean here, the mean, the median, and the mode. So this is one standard deviation below the mean from this point going to this point. And this is one standard deviation above the mean. The 95.4 percent, if this is the mean, this is one standard deviation below the mean, two standard deviation below the mean, and then this is one standard deviation above the mean, two standard deviation above the mean. Um, this one from here up to here, that comprises the 99.4 percent of the total distribution. While uh, one standard deviation below the mean, two standard deviation below the mean, and three standard deviation below the mean. This is one standard deviation above the mean, two standard deviation above the mean, and three standard deviation below the mean. That is the 99.7% of the total distribution, the total area. Um, there is a missing, which is 0.03%. That 0.03% um, since we've mentioned that the graph is only asymptotic, this one, uh, never touch the x-axis, that is the 0.03%. Those are scores which are too high and scores which are too low. Since the distribution is normal, then basically those are a uh, uh, few scores only. So that's 0.03% of the total distribution. 
Okay, so we will be getting the area of the normal distribution using your Z value. Okay, not Z value, but your Z test. Now remember um, that the area under the normal distribution here, uh, if this is the mean, the if this is the mean, the median, and the mode, the standard deviation will be like, um, what I mean is this is 1, 2, 3. So for example, this one. 1, 2, 3. So this is above. So greater than this, this portion. And this one is below. Just to make it clear before we'll start computing the area. Left, this is the zero kasi. So left of zero, that is less than, not less than, that is 50% of the area below the mean. Above zero, that is 50% of the area um, above the mean. Okay, so we will be using this test called the Z, Z test. As, as mentioned last week, Z test can be used when you have a population standard deviation and the sample size must be greater than or equal to 30. Okay, I hope I make myself clear that we can only use Z test if your sample size is greater than 30 greater than or equal to 30 rather, and you have the population standard deviation. In the absence of the population standard deviation, we cannot use the Z-test. We'll be using another statistical treatment. Okay, that's the next lesson for this um, topic, Z-test. Okay, so we are not going to review anymore how to use Z-test because I assume um, you know how to use Z-test. Okay, so example na lang sa gilas. 1.25. So if that's 1.25, um, paano ko ito i- ano? If that's 1.25, uh, all you have to do is to look at for 1.20. Hindi ako marunong mag- so 1.20 will be this one. Um, we're looking for this 1.25, huh? So 1.25 will be um, this is two, 1.2, and this is 0 0.05. So this is 39. Point Four, four, a point thirty nine four four. Okay, that's why we get zero point thirty nine four four. Now we are pertaining here from. Uh, we are pertaining here since one point twenty five is somewhere here. One point twenty five is somewhere here. Ito banda. Okay, so lagpas lang siya ng 1, so that area is 1 point, uh, I mean 39.44. So going back to our problem, this card. Okay, let's find the area to the left of 1.99. First, you locate where is 1.99. The positive Z value indicates that the score is above the mean. So if that's above the mean, you draw the normal distribution. This is zero. So it's above the mean. You approximate that is somewhere here, 1.99. We are concerned about the area to the left. So when you say to the left, so you are going to shade this one from here. Going here. So yung naka-shade, uh, we are going to find the area of the normal distribution there. So the probability um, that the Z value is less than 1.99. Okay? Now, let's take a look with the Z test. You locate 1.99. The area for 1.99 there is uh, 0.4767. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. 
uh, that tell me just that just just type in the chat box if you don't know why it's point forty six sixty seven. The bottom part nagdilagay ko one point nine. Hanapin yung one point nine and then you look it. And then you locate uh, point zero nine. Ilan hanggang sa may tumatawag. Okay. So that's point forty six sixty seven. So going back to our graph earlier, that will be here. Um, the reason why we are going to share the graph is for you to know when to add 0.5 and when to subtract 0.5. You add 0.5 if you shade more than 50% of the graph. I repeat, this will be 0 0.5 plus or minus. Depends upon the Z value that you got in the Z test. Plus, um, this will become plus if you shade more than 50% of the graph. This will be minus if you shade less than 50% of the graph. As you can see, we were able to shade more than 50% of the graph. That's the reason why we use 0 0.5. Ano nga yung area? 47.67. So this will be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.47.67. Ako makakalimutin ako. 47, 67. 47, this is 47, 67. Ulitin natin sa ang Zero point forty seven sixty seven. So when you are going to add yeah, to add that, that's 0 0.9767 or 97.67 percent. So the area to the left of Z, 1.99, is 97.67%. Clear? Yes, sir. If you want to ask something, you can use the chat box. Yes. Uh, kung ayaw niyong buksan ng microphone. Okay? Now, let's try number two. Find the area to the left of Z, 1.39. The Z is 1.39, which is positive. So basically, that is above the mean. So this will be 0. You just approximate it. 1.39 to the left. So we are concerned with the left. So this one is the left. So I'm going to ask you, is it 0. 0.5 or is it minus 0. 0.5? 0. 0.5. Plus, minus. Plus, minus. That's correct. Z less than 1.39. It's plus because we were able to shade more than 50% of the graph. This is the gitna kasi. Itong, para malaman nyo kung bakit naging 50%. Ito yung gitna. So ito yung 50%. Ito yung 50%. So more than ang na-shade natin. So 1.39, you look at the 1.39. That's I think um makita. 41.77, that's correct, uh, Shaina. 41.77, so this will be 0 0.41.77. If you are going to add 0 0.5 by 0 0.41.77, that is 0 0.9177 or 91.77%. So I have two options there, whether to write but the final answer as decimal or percent because I don't know uh, whether the final exam will use percent or decimal. For number three, find the area to the right of Z, 1.66. So it's positive again, so that will be above the mean. So this is zero, so 1.16. So that's right. So the probability that Z is greater than 1.16. So this is right. So based from the shaded part, Am I going to use subtraction or addition? Subtraction. Very good. So 0 0.5 minus ngayon kasi less than 50% ang na-shade. So 1.16 is what? 3770. Yes, sir. Point, tama. Point 3770. So this will be 0. Um, 
3770. So you have the calculator here. So 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3770, the answer will be 0 0.123 or 12.3%. Okay. Okay, let's try number four. For number four, we have find the area to the right. Bakit puro right? Wala akong kuwang negative. Gawin natin itong negative. Negative 0 0.97. So that's negative 0 0.97. So this is zero. Somewhere here ang negative. Negative 0 0.97. And then right. So here, going to the right. So plus or minus? Plus, sir. Plus, po. Correct, plus. Z negative 0 0.97. So 0 0.5 plus. Um, 0 0.97 is here. 3340. 0 0.3340. 0 .3 That's correct, Marjorie. Um, 0 0.3340, so that will be 0 0.8340 um, or 83.40%. To convert to convert decimal to percent, you just have to multiply it by 100. Now, the fifth one would a bit different from the first, for example, because we will be dealing with the area in between. Okay, so the area in between will look like this one. Find the area uh, between uh, 1.68 and 1.37. So this is 1.37 and this is 1.68. So this will be the concern of our area. First, you find the area... Um, from 0 to 1.67, so that will be the probability that Z is greater than 1.37 but less than 1.68. Um, you get first the area of 1.67 to 1.68 to 0. So the probability that Z um, is equal to 1.68. So 1.68 is... Ano sagot? 45, 35. That's correct, Shaina. 45, 35. Very good. So this will be 0 0.45, 35. We don't need to subtract or to add because our reference there is 0. And then you find the probability that Z is equal to 1.37. 1.37. Tama ba? Ano nga ba yung tanong ko? 1.30 ano, no? Ano nga yung tanong ko? 1 point ano? 37 po. 37. 1.37 is 41.47. So, 41.47, 0 0.41.47. And then you subtract that too. So, the probability that Z is greater than 1.37 but less than 1.68 is equal to 0 0.4535 minus 0 0.4177. Pag minus natin yan, 4535 minus 0 0.4177, that is 0 0.0358 or 3.58%. That's the area. Question. Okay. I am going to give you five minutes to do number six, A, B, C. Go.
if you need that um the z test table pwede ko bang i um ano to send sa group Nasa group yung Z-test table, sinend ko. Hindi ko siya ma-project dito kasi um, mawawala yung question. Remember to shade because that will give you a bird's eye view whether you use subtraction or you use addition. You use subtraction when you uh, shade less than 50% of the graph and you use addition when you see that you shaded um, more than 50% of the distribution. If you are done, you can type your answer. So I can assess kung sino ang nagiget, nakakaget, at sino ang um, hindi pa din. It's okay na hindi nakaget.
the 719. One point zero two. Ah, okay. Halakuan, belang percent. Two minutes. Okay. Oh, majority. I think there's nothing. Um, majority of you got letter A and letter B. Not majority, but all of you who submitted their answer. Um, I correct the area under the left to the left rather of one point sixty five. It. 4505. So, for the sake of those students na hindi nakuha, so for letter A, we have there, um, since left, so this will be 0, 1.65, that's above the mean because it's positive. So, to the left, so we are going to shade this one, plus this 50%. And 1.65, the value is 0 0.45, um, 45.05. So probability that Z is less than 1.65 is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.45, 0 0.5. That makes it 0 0.9505 or 95.05%. The second one, which is B, um, 1.91 is somewhere here. You just estimate. And then you draw it. I mean, you shade the graph. It's more than 50% here, 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 here. And 1.91, um, that's I think 0 0.4719. So it's um, plus again. So 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4719. So that will be 0 0.9719. Or... 97.19%. I think you get confused with C because although that is in between, but that's zero in here. So zero and 2.32, ito lang. When Z is zero, the Z value, the Z test is also zero. So what is that? So you get the equivalent of 2.32. So the equivalent to that is what? Greater than 2. Point, greater than 0 but less than 2.32. So this will be 0 0.4898 only or 48.98%. I think kinuha niyo pa yung area na ang 2.90. May 0 ba? Equivalent na 0 ang Z value. Wala. Kung zero wala. yan, zero point, tama ba? Wala? wala zero po. point zero e, zero. Ang ginawa ko po kasi ano, minus ko point five. Ah. Hindi na kasi in between siya. In between yung ating, ah, okay. nagpa-plus lang tayo at nagma-minus kapag ka, isa lang yung hinahanap na z-value. 
So that's the same as, so kung ma-minus tayo, dapat nag-minus tayo dito kanina. Dito nag-minus eh. Okay? Nag-minus lang tayo or nagpa-plus once the question is like this one. But if that is um, in between, you have to get the, ito, you have to get the area of 1.37 and the area of 1.68 and then you subtract. In case in number 6, in the case of number 6, 0 yung isa, so that's 0. So even if you are going to subtract it by 0, still that's 48.98, 0 0.4898. That's correct, Chito. Question so far? Wala po. This will be your assignment. See, it work number 5 or number 4, I'm not sure. Careful, 0 ito, <laughs> 0 ito. Baka mag-minus na naman kayo dyan ng 0.5. Okay? So, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for joining the class and see you next Tuesday.